Welcome, here I've got Vivo Y20s and I'm gonna show you the top tricks of its camera. So at first we have to tap on the camera button here to open it and for now we are in the standard photo mode. Let's see what we've got here, let me start with this settings bar, here we can change the modes of this camera. We have the panoramic mode, portrait, standard photo, video and by going to the right to more we get access to some extra modes, the live photo, slow motion, time lapse, pro and dog. So this is a lot that I don't have much time to speak about all of these modes now. I suggest you to making experiments with that and just have a good fun. Now let me show you one of my favorite modes live photo by just tapping on this we get access to it and this mode gives us at the same time when we take a picture the short clip so we have two in one let me show you how it works by taking a photo and now let's move here to the left corner at the bottom when we pick this button we get quick access to the gallery so this is our photo as you can see we have also short information that this is live photo and uh, to see the clip we have to just simply tap a little bit longer on it and as you can see this is how it looks like so it's pretty cool now let's go back to the camera and to go back from live photo mode to the standard we have to just simply tap on X letter here. So here we are again in standard photo mode. Here let's start by tapping on the screen anywhere like that. As you can see, we get access to this kind of square. This is the focusing, so we can focus anywhere at the screen at our picture that we want to. And this is connected with the sun icon. When we tap a little bit longer on the sun, we get access to this slider. This is the exposure compensation. By going up, we can make our photo much brighter and by going down on it, we can make it more dark. So this is kind of light managing. Of course, there's no problem to go back to auto settings. We can do it by just simply tapping again anywhere at the screen. Now let's have a look at these buttons here at the center. As you can see, we can uh, change the lenses here. We have some standard lens and we can get closer. So this is connected also with zoom. Let me show you how to use zoom. We can do it by tapping on this a little bit longer so we get access to the slider. And also we can do it by using two fingers. But I think this slider is more precisely. Now let's tap on these buttons twice and go back to the standard lens. Let's move to this button here also with lens. Here we can uh, get access to bokeh lens. So this is useful when we take a portrait and it uh, blur our background. And also here we have access to super macro lens. So this is useful when we take a picture, some objects that are very close to our uh, camera. Now let's turn this off here. And let's move to this settings bar here. Let's go from this button. Here we have the flash, so we can turn it on the auto. Now camera recognizes when it's needed, when it's uh, too dark. We can also here turn it on every time we take a picture. Here we have also access to the fill light, so the torch, now it's turned it on. And also here in the left we can turn it off, so let's stay on this. And let's move to this button at the center. By just one tap we can turn on the HDR option and another tap to turn this off. I suggest you to uh, have this turn it on when you uh, have uh, possible uh, to do it. Mm, because uh, the HDR helps to improve the details in the brightest and darkest areas of our photos and this is really useful and make our photos just more beautiful, lightful, especially this is useful when we take a landscape. So for now let me keep this turn it off because as you can see I don't have very well conditions to taking that kind of picture and let's move to this button. When we pick this, we get access to the filters. So here also we can uh, improve our picture and make it more beautiful before we take it. As you can see, we have slider with the uh, names of these filters. So this is how it changes. And uh, this is connected with this slider where we can adjust the intensity of the filter like that. So. This is wide spectrum of these filters. Now let's go back at the beginning and stay on the normal view. 
and let's move to this button in the right corner when we pick this we can open the advanced camera settings so this is a lot let me show you a few of them let's start with the sound as you can see here by using this button we can turn off the camera sounds and turn them on again when we need so this is how it works here now let's move to the geographic locations also by using this button we can turn off this option and turn it on and it allows us to save the place where we take a picture in the details about it also the important information here is that to make it work correctly when we want to save the actual location of our photo we have to be connected with the internet for example the wi-fi and we have to turn on the location of this device so remember about these two parameters to make it work now let me keep turn it on all of the settings let's go back to the camera and take a photo from here let's move again to the left corner at the bottom to the gallery so this is our photo to check it location let's just tap at the center to get access to the gallery options and now let's move to this icon with eye letter so here we have the details of the picture and the location with the full address so greetings from Krakow Poland this is how it works let's go back to the camera now and to the settings in the right corner here we have also mirrored selfie option by using this button we can turn off and turn on the camera mirror effect we have also some short information from the device that this uh, option only works uh, with the front camera and the mirror left or right when the front camera is used for photography and video shooting so remember about this now let's slide down and focus on the photo size when we pick this we can manage the ratio of our picture now we are on 4 and 3 ratio let's pick full and let's go back to the camera as you can see the background has changed to the longer one so this is the full camera frame when we go back to the settings and pick once again the photo size we can pick 16 and 9 and in the camera preview it looks like that the next one available here in the photo size is one and one so in the camera preview we can see that this is the square one and of course when we go back to the settings in the right corner pick the photo size we can easily go back to four and three the original one so let's go back to the camera to remind you this is how it looks like now let's go again to the settings in the right corner and pick the countdown here we can uh, turn on the camera timer so we can adjust the delay of taking photo we can pick from 3, 5 or 10 seconds for now let me pick 3 seconds to show you how it works let's go back to the camera and take a photo and here we have the countdown as you can see the picture was taken with 3 seconds of delay so for now let's go back to the settings and let's turn this off and let's move to the framing lines by using this button of course we can turn it on and off so these are the grid lines at this camera let me keep this turn it on let's go back again to see them and in the camera preview we can see these lines this is useful for example when we want to use the rule of third in photography or making experiments with composition also remember that these lines are not visible at the real picture so when i take a photo and again when i move to the gallery we can see them at the real picture so they are only to help us taking better photos and of course when we don't need this we can easily go back to the settings in the right corner and use this button to turn them off so for now they are gone now let's stay on the settings and let's move to the shutter when we pick this we get access to some extra option touch to take photo let's turn this on by using this button and when we have this we can take a picture anywhere at the screen that we want so we don't have to use the shutter we can tap anywhere and just take a photo so this is really cool option and with this is connected also the volume key here that uh, in standard usage with the smartphone it allows us to control the volume of the device and with the camera when we tap on this we can also take a picture so this is one extra tip here now let's move to the settings in the right corner and let's pick the watermark here 
Here we can add the time watermark and also the model watermark. By using these buttons we can turn them on and off. As you can see we can add just one of these. We can add both at the same time. So let me stay on this. Let's go back to the camera and take another picture. And now let's move here again to the gallery to the left corner at the bottom. Uh, this is our picture and the watermarks are here at the bottom. Let's get closer to it. From the left we have Vivo Y20S watermark, so the device. And from the right we have the timestamp. So this is how it works here. Of course, when you don't need the watermarks, you can easily go back to the settings in the right corner, slide again, pick the watermark and use these buttons to turn it off. Now when you take another picture, the watermarks should be not visible at it. And after managing all of the settings, sometimes we want to go back to auto settings. We can do it easily by using the last one option I want to show you, reset. When we tap on this, we can restore all camera settings to default and confirm. And it all goes back to the auto. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and give the thumbs up.